tell you about three or four things about Ringling. First of all, we are one of the very, very top art and design colleges in, uh, in the country. Well, we're really pleased here at Ringling College of Art and Design to be able to have this summer institute for primarily high school art teachers or even middle school art teachers in order to really bring them, um, I guess the best way to describe it, into the digital age with art and technology. Um, and it's just, you know, one of those experiences where they get to come back as a student again and really learn from our faculty and I think it'll be an incredible experience for them. Uh, we're starting an iPad program next year and they had the iPad drawing course and I wanted to see what that would be like and begin to get, you know, my feet kind of wet. I'm, I'm able to qualify or apply for a grant through my school. They, can, they give out grants for professional development each summer for faculty and staff and so this this summer was a good summer with my family and it just worked out. I'm from Korea. <laughs> um, I'm an international school uh, art teacher. Um, I'm originally from Lawrence, Kansas, right outside of Kansas City. This program I felt would help kind of um, give me some fresh ideas of things that I could introduce uh, in our school. Well, they will be in class in the morning for three hours every morning, and that will be a workshop that they've chosen. Then the afternoon will be a second workshop that they've chosen. So they're all taught by Ringling College faculty or Ringling College alumni, and we have two guests that are doing digital storytelling. So I think it'll be really a valuable five days that'll be really intensive. I think I want them just to take back technology that maybe their students aren't familiar with yet. I want them to be, kind of have a leg up. I want them to be ahead of their students. I know so many times um, high school teachers, their students are more technologically advanced than they are. And I think this just gives them a little bit of an edge. They can be the cool kid for a change, you know? We have representatives come from Ringling to talk to my students. And they are so informative and they teach the students a lot. And so I felt like if I could take this opportunity to have the workshop that I would have some more techniques to share with students. I'm really excited. I've never really done um, lino, cut, print, lino cuts and, uh, or uh, printing, printmaking. So it's something I'm kind of really eager to learn more about. We learned mono printing and we learned lino cut block printing. And so we learned how to scrape out the lino and transfer our images and then do the press and the different press settings and some kind of helpful hints in the classroom to use these techniques. I think what's nice is that they're not alone in some of the challenges that they face in their own uh, school system, but they can share those challenges and opportunities with others. Uh, the purpose of the debriefing session is to get information while it's still fresh in everyone's minds about their experiences here at Ringling this week. And had I not done animation-ish, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I would have been able to understand it as much in So they could do Teachers <laughs> divided into the five groups uh, so they could share information based on their collective group experience. And we had a template of questions. Um, the first one was to describe the aspect of the course they considered memorable or successful. They've also discussed the concepts and processes they learned this week and they also looked at ways to integrate what we learned into the classroom back home which is a big part of professional development training for our teachers is to be able to take what they've learned here back to their own classroom. Uh, it's been a really good week I, as I said I learned a lot about rotoscoping which is something I'll be able to use for my course and I look, honestly look forward to new programs here at Green. perhaps there'll be something for me for next summer. very, uh, got up early in the morning, uh, got breakfast, went to class, was in class for four hours, left that, went to lunch, went back, changed, got whatever I needed, went to my afternoon class, was there until 5.30, got done with that, dinner, and then it was like in labs, homework, but good homework, you know, like got to actually, you know, learn the programs and learn everything we needed to do and, and spend time learning the different, for me or especially for me, because I took the digital storytelling class, so it is time well spent. So it was important for us to provide an experience for the teachers that could introduce them to not only traditional techniques but digital processes which they really don't have in their classroom and it's it's like helping them keep one step ahead of their students who are digital natives you know. 
I really want to do it next year. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard about all the other classes and stuff, and to see all the work here too is um, really inspiring. And I, I like to make it sort of an annual, <laughs> an annual thing. So.